name is Dr. Puru Dhawan and in this video we will talk about protein loss in a kidney failure patient because in a kidney failure patient when the person urinates what happens because of presence of protein in the urine the urine become frothy and this froth denotes the health of your kidney this is the first symptom which appears in almost all kidney failure patient before the rise of kidney so let's start how we can control the protein loss in a kidney failure patient and how we can control the level of kidney in a kidney failure patient before moving towards the treatment for protein loss in a kidney failure patient it's very important for us to understand why this happens what what goes wrong in a kidney failure patient when a patient suffer from kidney failure because of high blood pressure or sugar level or IgG nephropathy the membrane which is filtering each and everything in your body which is filtering which is the main functional unit of the body which is known as nephron is unable to keep the protein inside the body because of pressure of blood pressure uh, and because of high sugar level this membrane leaks protein and when this leakage happens this protein comes into urine and makes the urine frothy so in a kidney failure patient when we want to control the loss of protein we have to go to the cause of the kidney failure and in most cases in the 40% cases the cause of kidney failure is your high blood pressure what happens in the high blood pressure is that when your blood pressure is high this blood enters your the kidney with very high pressure and because of this pressure it cause strike to the wall of the thin membrane of the nephron because of constant strike of uh, blood with the membrane this membrane starts making changes in itself so that it can survive during this mutation during this change is what happens the membrane become sclerosed membrane become thick membrane become hard and when this happens it loses the function to filter out the blood and as a function of the that membrane goes the level of the kidney start increasing the kidney start losing protein from the body so if we want to control the level of protein in a kidney failure patient we have to control the level of blood pressure first without controlling blood pressure we can't control the protein loss we can't control the level of kidney so we have to take care of the root cause of the kidney failure if we want to control if we want to manage that patient similar thing is happening in the case of diabetic nephropathy patient who suffer from chronic kidney disease because of diabetes what happens because of this high sugar level in the blood first the nephron cells become weak second thing what happens our kidney work as a pressure wall for the sugar if your sugar level increases above 200 what happens kidney open its gates for the sugar and sugar starts moving out of the body through urine so if we this thing happens again and again on a daily basis what happens because of this high uh, workload to the kidney kidney gradually stops kidneys start losing its function so if we want to control same thing if we want to control the diabetes if we want to control the diabetic nephropathy we have to control the diabetic risk. we have to make the make sure that the level of sugar is in the right amount one more thing happens with the patient of diabetic nephropathy few drugs which are given as anti-diabetic drugs to the patient of diabetes these drugs opens the gate of sugar forcefully so that the level of sugar can be controlled in the body even before the level reaches the 200 and when we process sugar from the body forcefully through the kidney that damages the kidney and as the damages happens kidney loses its function and as the function loses the level of kidney increases the protein loss increases so we have to take care of the diabetes first if we want to control the chronic kidney disease in a diabetic nephropathy cases so these are the 80 percent cases so the 40 percent patient of kidney failure is caused by high blood pressure and another 40 percent is caused by diabetes and 10% is caused by Ig nephropathy and another 10% is caused by polycystic kidney. Ig nephropathy and polycystic kidney both are genetic disorder. We will discuss this disorder in another later video. But if we want to control chronic kidney disease, if we want to control the protein in any kidney failure patient, we have to control the root cause of that problem, and that is your either your high blood pressure, your sugar level, or your immunity. So we have to work on the root cause if we want to control the level of protein. Now to control the level of kidney and protein loss in a kidney failure patient, we have to start kidney function restoration treatment. In this treatment, what we do, 
step number one we have to control the cause of the kidney failure once the cause of the kidney failure is in control we can move on the step number two in step number two what we do with the help of ayurvedic medicine we increase the kidney functions and as the kidney function increases the output of the creatinine urea potassium and other electrolyte also increases and as the output increases the level of creatinine urea drops in the body so it's very important for us to uh, increase the kidney function because we all know once the nephrons are damaged they remain damaged but we can increase the function of the healthy nephrons now let's take an example suppose i have donated one kidney to somebody else i have only one kidney left with me but this kidney will perform all the functions properly my level of kidney bond increases my level of urea bond increases my level of potassium bond increases the question arises why because kidney has ability to increase its function according to the need so we have to use this property of the kidney so that the remaining functioning part of the kidney can increase its function so that it can filter creatinine urea potassium with a great efficacy so that it can control the level of all other waste material easily now let's move to a step number three once the cause of the kidney failure is in control the level of creatinine urea is in control the third step happens because of these favorable condition inside the body kidney starts making some kind of changes in itself kidney starts increasing its function and as the function natural function of the kidney increases now the body doesn't need any kind of medicine any kind of support now kidney is self capable of filtering out the all kind of waste material on its own but in this kfrt treatment diet plays very important role we consider diet as a 50 percent part of the diet because with the help of diet we can control lots of things in a kidney failure patient we can control the level of kidney we can control the level of potassium so it's very important for all kidney failure patient to understand what kind of diet they should take so that they can level of creatinine can be easily controlled so let's start with the creatinine creatinine is a waste material which is produced in our muscles and if we want to control the level of creatinine we have to decrease the level of muscle metabolism and when a patient of kidney failure take large amount of protein this muscle metabolism increases and as the result the level of creatinine increases so all the patient of science engineering suffering from kidney failure are advised to take low amount of protein or they can take protein free diet if their body is strong enough and when we put the patient on the low protein diet or protein free diet what happens because of this the level of formation of the kidney decreases and the level of creatinine also decreases in the body but protein is a building block of the body if we stop taking protein for a long time our body deteriorates so we can't do that we have to take those protein which are easily absorbable easily digestible and uh, they doesn't create any kind of creatinine in the body so at science and Jimmy, we advise all kidney failure patients to take moong ki dal without chilka because this is the vegetarian source of protein which is very good which is easily absorbable which can easily assimilate which doesn't contain any kind of kidney in the body so it's very important to stick to those things which we provide you which we suggest you so as we know that the creatinine is produced in the muscle so we have to take care of the muscle metabolism suppose a patient of kidney failure do lots of exercises lot kind of heavy exercises weight lifting and all what happens because of increased metabolism of the muscles the level of creatinine increases and if the patient suffer from any kind of fever or some kind of shivering happens because of some cold climate the level of creatinine increases so we have to take care of the, all these things now let's move to the potassium and see how we can control the level of potassium in a kidney failure patient Potassium is present in each and everything whatever we eat but few things contains potassium in naturally low amount and few things contain potassium in naturally in high amount. So we have to select those food items which contains potassium in low amount. So let's move to the vegetable and see how we can control the level of uh, potassium in a body with the help of vegetables. Any vegetable which is grown below the surface of earth contains potassium in high amount like potato, sweet potato, turnip, everything, anything, any vegetable which is grown below Below the surface of earth similarly any vegetable which is leafy like your mustard spinach coriander mint all these vegetables contain potassium in high amount so we have to avoid all these vegetables we have to avoid rooty and leafy vegetable so now the question arises what kind of vegetable we can eat we have to take those vegetable which are what we can say uh, uh, which are grown as a fruit on a plant or a creeper like brinjal tomato bitter ground round ground uh, pumpkin 
any kind of vegetable which is grown on creeper or a plant as a fruit can be easily taken so if you take these kind of vegetable level of potassium will remain in a normal range and you don't have to leach the vegetable because lots of pe people come to me lots of patients comes to me and they say can we leach the vegetable and I'll, i always suggest them to avoid leaching because uh, when we our advice leaching to a patient what happens because of leaching not only the potassium goes away lots of vitamins mineral which is very much required by the body to heal the kidney is also leached away so we don't want to lose those uh, vitamins and minerals we have to provide those minerals and vitamins to the body so avoid leaching try to select those food items which contains potassium in the low amount now let's move to the fruit and see how fruit can help a patient to control the level of potassium in case of fruits we have to avoid few fruits and rest fruits can be easily given we have to avoid banana avocado kiwi and dry fruits dates and coconuts these are the six items which has to be avoided in category of fruits rest fruits can be given you can give papaya you can give chiku you can give apple you can give grapes any fruit you want but the quantity size portion size is very important don't cross the one cup portion size suppose you i want to give uh, strawberries one cup if you want to give apple one apple and if you want to give papaya one cup of papaya this portion size will limit the potassium content in the body so in case of fruits take care of the portion size so let's move back to the creatinine and see what kind of food item has to be avoided if we want to control the creatinine level to control the creatinine level we have to avoid all kind of uh, non veg items non veg items especially like chicken mutton fish lamb um, dairy products like milk custard and uh, curd has to be avoided because if we don't avoid these kind of things the muscle metabolism will increase and the formation of creatinine will increase limit the amount of protein and type of protein to uh, one bowl of moong ki dal if you take one cup of one bowl of moong ki dal the level of creatinine won't increase it will remain stable it will go down and if we move to other pulses for uh, source of uh, protein what hap what may happen is that because the other pulses are hard to digest they may create creatinine in the body so we have to avoid pulses also but exception is moong ki dal and stick to this the level won't increases in future now let's move back to the topic if we want to control the level of protein loss we have to take care of our kidney first we have to stop the damage and to stop the damage we have to work on the cause of kidney failure these are the simple basics of kidney failure what we use at science and germany to control the level of creatinine potassium protein in a kidney failure patient if you have any kind of question query you can simply ask on the number given below you can also book an appointment with me on the same number and you can also visit our website saiyankidneycare.com for further information with this allow me to say goodbye see you in the next video till then bye bye